tech tip of the week. Now I know I'm a nerd, I will try not to speak nerd, but I do understand that a lot of the struggles people are having with using Pro Stitcher and maintaining their patterns is just a lack of basic understanding. Now we're not going to cover all of that in this one tip. I have one tip that I'm going to go on the computer and show you how you can set up a shortcut so that you can get to your patterns and files more easily while storing them like you should. All right. So to start this off, I'm going to use this file box, okay? It says MK Quilts on the front, and it's got a lot of files, folders, and information in it. But it's really not a file drawer or box. It is a hard drive. It's the C colon hard drive that's in your laptop. It's in every Windows system. Picture it as a storage device. You store information there. So let's open it up and see what we have. Now we have lots of files, okay? Obviously, the files at the root directory, the slash directory, you're probably familiar with one called designs, okay? In it, you'll find other files, and in there, you'll find patterns. Lots of patterns, and if you name them properly, you'll be able to find them again, okay? You even have lists of patterns. Now, these happen to be printed out from the QPI program, which we can talk about at another time. But the idea is, Handy Quilter gives you a bunch of free designs to use with Pro Stitcher, and they created a folder down at C colon. Remember? C colon, the root directory. Now the problem with that is, as you purchase your other designs, the best practice is not really to put them in the same folder, though you can. I'll explain why it's not a good idea later. Or you can create a new folder at the C drive, call it what you want, and keep your designs in there. Melissa's actually doing that in some cases because she doesn't like to have to click through and go and find, oh, her home directory, okay? Let's see, where's her home directory? Uh-oh, looking through, looking through. Hmm. Well, I found her home directory, and then I found the documents folder, okay? It's several folders in, you gotta go searching for it. And then inside, the Documents folder is another folder called Designs, and guess what? I just bought this design. I want to put it in some place that I know it's going to be protected. And if you're using cloud storage or some backup software, if you put it in your Documents folder, in your home directory, okay, that seems like a lot of hassle understanding where it is is important so you can find it again and deciding how many files you use and where you put it's important so what i'm going to show you is how pro stitcher uses this how you go and look at designs and how even if you do follow convention here i've got a tip that allow you to go directly to your documents designs folder to get your stuff without having to go through all the steps to find it, okay? So we are going to go onto the computer. I'm going to walk you through things like Melissa does in simulation, and then we'll come back here and I'll close up. All right, so welcome to my computer. I wanna show you this tip and I'll try and do it as slowly and straightforward as I can. Now, first of all, because I don't need to be distracted by my desktop icons, I'm going to turn them off. Okay, maybe that's something you didn't know, but right click on your desktop. You have a lot of options. Uh, this one's convenient because it cleans off the desktop. So first, what I'm going to show you is that when people run Pro Stitcher, Right. 
I'll go full screen here. So when you're trying to bring up a design and click open, by default, they start you out in the C colon designs folder that contains all the included patterns that come with Pro Stitcher. So you can go in here and you can open up any file you want here under C colon designs. But let's just say you've stored files under your home directory, which is actually the best process because it's more likely to be backed up or protected. And the basic convention is that users don't write into the root level of your storage device. On the hard drive, that's reserved for things like your Windows programs, your program files, things like that. So if you want to go get your stuff out of your home directory, you usually have to go through many steps here. Your user, Paul K, documents, okay? And under there, I've created a designs folder where I put the designs that I've downloaded or working on. If I want to open those, I have to go through this long path to get to them. Now, to be honest, MK has gotten into the habit of creating some subdirectories back up under C colon so that she doesn't have to go through all this extra clicking to get down the path to her own patterns. Now, the trick here is that I'm going to show you is there's a way that we can create a link so that you don't have to do all this clicking to get down to your patterns. So let me close this, reduce it. I'm going to bring up a file manager. Now depending on what settings you have in your file man manager, some of these things may be open, some may be closed, it may look different, but in the end on the left column here you have a this PC. And that shows all the devices, if you had USB drives or other things, all the devices hooked up to your computer. The C colon in Windows machines is the internal storage device, whether it's a hard drive or what we call the SSD, a solid state drive, which is really what I recommend if you're buying any computer. Don't get a physical spinning drive. Get your solid state device. It runs much faster. This is a solid state device. Now if you go to the C colon root directory. If you click here, it shows you that syntax. You'll see, yes, I have my designs folder and here's all the free stuff. But you can see there are HQV files of different patterns. If I try to view them just through the file manager without additional software, you're not going to see the image of the pattern like you do when you're within Pro Stitcher. So there are third-party things out there that can help with that, but for most people, this is what you're going to get. Okay, so if I'm at C colon, we can click back down here. There's the designs. I don't want to have to go through users, my home directory, documents, designs to get to my designs like we did within the program. That's a lot of silly clicking. What if I could show you a way to make it one click to get to those files? And that's the tip for today. So what you need to do is you go down your search dialog and type CMD for command prompt. Do not hit enter yet because you want to run it as administrator. All right, so now we have our box open here our command box dialog. Now if you type MK link and no MK did not write this utility. This is a standard utility to make a link in the file system. 
So just typing MK link, hitting enter, it gives you the defaults. You don't have to really worry about that if you're following along here. All you have to do is do MK link space. Since we're creating a directory link, you do a forward slash D space. Now remember to use the drive letter, otherwise it'll be created in the current folder. C colon backslash. Now I recommend the pound sign and call it my designs. Though you can call this anything you want. The pound sign will mean that it'll sort to the top of the set of folders that you see in C colon. So we want to create that. And where do we want it to go to? Well, here's where it really helps to click your way through to where you want it to go to. Find what you want, the folder you want to go to. Documents. Designs. Okay, so I've gotten to that folder. If I click here on the file manager, it shows the other syntax c colon backslash that's exactly what we have so if you right click on it and say copy then come down and click on the box down here and you just hit the right mouse button and it'll paste it in there for you so we're going to create a link we're going to create something new called my designs that points to this folder under my home directory now obviously the path will vary depending on what your user directory is. But when you hit enter, now you've created it. So this is equal to that. My designs is equal to users Paul K documents designs. So let's see what happened. If I go back to the C colon, look at what I have here. A my designs. So if we bring up Pro Stitcher. Now if we go to Designs and open, it still opens you in the Designs folder, but to get to your designs in your home directory, all you have to do is click on this above here. And now you are in the same directories as you would before. Now look at this. It doesn't give you the long path, which can clean things up. But now you know that the pound my designs is equal to that long path that you had to go through to get to these same files. All right, that's simple. And I know some of you are like, not sure because all this file system stuff doesn't make sense to you. Well, what I wanna let you know is that this is just the start of the tutoring that you can get. I am going to put together more quick tips to bring you along all linked to how you use the computer with your quilting programs computer now if you make any mistakes you can go up it here and you can delete it like any file and deleting this file is not going to delete anything else okay and you can come back here and up arrow recreate it and magically ah another tip Hitting F5 refreshes in case it didn't refresh automatically. All right, so all of these things you learn over time, but hopefully the MK link is going to help you maintain your patterns and designs in the proper places and not do things improperly just for convenience. So hope this helps. Now back to the live me. Okay, so that didn't look that hard. I hope some of this is starting to make sense to you. Cause, but I want you to think about this, to look at this. We're going to try and continue to do some tips of the week. But I also want to put together a comprehensive tutorial. Some people like it printed out, so we'll have a guide. And with the guide and the videos that go with it, hopefully we can explain some of this. And we'll do it all from the reference of Pro Stitcher patterns and quilters and try and ignore a lot of the other tech talk that really doesn't apply and then once you understand how to manage your files all of this other stuff becomes much much easier i hope this helped
See you next week.